Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel AgreeEdit. I am Naimisha, uh, the first ranker of ICRJR of examination in the subject group of physical science of 2021 batch and currently pursuing uh, MSc Soil Science and Agriculture Chemistry at ICR Indian Agriculture Research Institute, New Delhi. Today, in this video, I will be providing you with a comprehensive guide on how to prepare for the ICRJR of examination in physical sciences. Additionally, I will be sharing a list of uh, books that are uh, required to while preparing for this examination. So stay tuned till the end for the video, uh, to fully benefit from the information that I will be sharing with you. First of all, uh, when we uh, think to write this ICRJR physical science examination, first we should focus on five major disciplines. First one is soil science and agricultural chemistry. In this the major portion of the physical sciences will be covered and we need to focus more on this aspect compared to all others and this is followed by agricultural physics then followed by agricultural chemicals and environmental science and soil conservation and water management these are the major uh, and minor disciplines that are covered under the subject group of physical sciences and among the all disciplines the major subject as we saw earlier it is the soil science that uh, covers the major portion of uh, whole paper and uh, minor subjects include agriculture metrology from agronomy portion and plant protection chemicals or agriculture chemicals and then general agriculture and current effects which are common for all subject groups and here uh, we have provided you the link to download ICRJR of physical science examination syllabus you can download it later and see go through the syllabus and when we see the soil science portion uh, it comprises of many parts like pedology, physics, fertility, chemistry, biology, and analytical chemistry. Uh, first one, uh, we, let us see by topic by topic. First one is the composition of earth. Composition of earth, it means the composition of earth, weathering process, soil forming factors and process, soil taxonomy, soil survey. All these will be covered under the same head that is soil pedology. And in the composition of it, we will get uh, major uh, uh, volume composition of it and elemental composition of it, various rocks and minerals uh, present in the earth and etc. It is the portion that comes in the pedology. Next is weathering process, different kind of weathering process, basic, fundamental, specific weathering process, everything. And then soil forming factors and process, soil taxonomy and then soil survey. All these will be covered in a soil pedology. Then it is followed by remote sensing, GPS and GIS. Though it also comes under the same head that is pedology. But this remote sensing, GPS and GIS, it is better to go through the recent aspects of these three aspects too. While covering for the JRF examination. Then second head is soil physics or agricultural physics. And from this we can expect at least one numerical from in each paper. And be thorough with the formula associated with the, this soil physics chapter. And then it is followed by soil degradation process and their conservation. That is soil conservation. It also comes under pedology. Then chemical composition of soil. It comes under soil chemistry. That is the elemental composition and also mineralogical composition of the soil. Uh, that is the oxygen, silicon, aluminum composition present in the soil, etc. And then soil organic matter fractionation, uh, the components of organic matter and the, how to fractionate it and what are the properties associated with the, each component. All these will be covered in the soil biology. And the soil biology, though it is minor, it is better to go through it once. So please focus on the soil organic matter and also soil microbiology. Both will be co coming under same soil biology. Then essential elements of nutrients. It is the heart of uh, soil fertility. When we see in uh, JRF examination, we can expect at least one or two bits like uh, what are the functional roles of the essential elements in plants and also deficiencies and toxicities associated with the elements. Then it is followed by manures and fertilizers. It also comes under soil fertility. Manures and fertilizers uh, then followed by irrigation water quality. It comes under problematic soils and it is better to refer this topic in DK textbook. 
uh, that I'll provide in uh, coming slides. The textbook of uh, so, uh, the introductory soil science by DK Das. It is better to cover this irrigation water quality from that uh, book. And then analysis of soil for various physicochemical parameters like pH, EC, OC, NPK, and different other parameters. I just go through the basic principles. What is the methodology associated with each uh, uh, analysis? And then it is followed by instrumentation. These two will be coming under your analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry and instrumentation includes flame photometer, spectrophotometer, atomic adsorption spectrophotometer, ICPAES and AMS, etc. Various other instruments that we use for uh, analysis of elements like for flame photo for sodium and potassium alkali and alkaline earth metals, we use flame photometer and spectrophotometer for phosphorus and sulfur estimations like that. AAS for micronutrients and all. So uh, while preparing for soil science, be thorough with the, all the subject groups that, as I said, like pedology first, first is pedology, second is physics, that is soil physics, next is chemistry, soil chemistry, then fertility, soil fertility, and biology also. Then analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry. So these are the topics that uh, you are going to cover under soil science subject in physical sciences. And coming to the books that you can refer for the soil science, uh, first and foremost thing is Introductory Soil Science by D.K. Das. This is the new edition that is published recently uh, this textbook uh, it gives you all the fundamentals uh, related to soil science and also you can refer textbook of soil science by td biswas and sk mukherjee among these two uh, you can mostly prefer this dk das textbook because it covers major aspects and then after finishing this one please go for biswas and mukherjee and next one is fundamentals of soil science by indian society of soil science or Soil Science and Introduction. This is also published by Indian Society of Soil Science. Now, please cover any one edition among these two because it is difficult to cover two editions at a time for JRF aspirants. So please cover at least one edition along with these fundamental books. Then after going through all the textbooks, please refer this Soil Science Treatise that is given by Itala Satinarayana. This will give you a quick revision for all the topics you have covered in the above textbooks. So don't forget to refer this treatise after reading the all concepts in textbook. Then followed by this uh, minor subjects as we saw earlier, that is agrometeorology. For agrometeorology, you can mostly refer these principles of agronomy by Reddy and Reddy, but uh, uh, do you, but I referred uh, this agrometeorology by SR Reddy and DS Reddy, particularly for agrometeorological observatory. For this topic, I have referred this book. If you don't have enough time, you can also refer your UG notes also for agrometeorology. And then some of the additional things that you can focus for scoring uh, good marks in NICEA effect that is uh, basic chemistry from PU syllabus like molarity, Molality, normality, etc. Some basic chemical concepts that you have covered in plus two or so. And then UG notes for agriculture chemicals portion because uh, in last two to three years, uh, we got uh, some two to three bits from this agriculture chemicals portion. Just go through the classification associated with the chemicals portion and also uh, what are the chemicals that are covered under it? If possible, examples of chemicals associated with. If possible, please go through the trade names. And also, mode of action. But only if you have enough time, 
go through the trade names and mode of action or else classification and examples of chemicals covered under that plant protection chemicals uh, that includes fungicides herbicides insecticides mostly these three groups so classification and examples associated with it if you have time uh, just go through trade names and mode of action but don't focus on these uh, agriculture chemicals and basic chemical concepts first of all because after covering uh, whole syllabus only you will get some enough time so focus the, on these aspects during that time only and coming to objective books uh, there are many objective books you can refer for the soil science uh, portion uh, first one is this uh, glimpse of soil science by Itala Satyanarayana uh, this one you can do it like uh, very easily if you go through the all the concepts in textbook then it is called objectives of soil science by gr mahajan here uh, you can get around 25 modal papers so you can also prefer this one then object is soil science by t ramesh uh, this is a bit hard compared to the about two so first finish these two then if you have enough time then go for t ramesh uh, then coming to Objective Agriculture by Sir Kantwa, it is, a, it is normally a this general agriculture book, but uh, please try to cover soil science, agronomy and agriculture chemicals portion from this SR Kantwa book also. And then Agri Facts of Soil Science by S.V. Sai Prasad, uh, this is also a good book to follow uh, if you have enough time. But be, uh, uh, while doing objectives, please uh, keep in mind that don't rely on the key as it is. Uh, be thorough with your concept and then uh, see whether the key has mistake or not or anything. And then for general agriculture, uh, the most preferred book for JRF examination is uh, Competitive Book of Agriculture by Nimra Sunda. Uh, please go through it uh, thoroughly. Then if you finish it thoroughly, then go for Fundamentals of Agriculture by Arun Kachan. Then Agriculture at a Glance by R.K. Sharma. So, so guys, uh, thank you all for uh, listening to this Agri Edit the list of books of, uh, for uh, ISAGR Physical Science Examination. And while preparing for Physical Sciences, uh, be thorough with all the concepts associated with physics and chemistry from soil science portions and also fertility in major because uh, this fertility has uh, very objective type of questions in textbook itself while reading you can get to know whatever it is so please be thoroughly prepared and share it among your friends who are preparing for ICRJR physical science examination and let us all crack this exam together this time with a proper guidance and also proper coordination